So uh, what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to use PyCharm, okay? So I'm sure by now you know PyCharm as well because we've been using PyCharm. To, you can use any test editor that you want. You can use um, Sublime Test or anything, or even from your command line to, to do this deployment, All right? But I prefer using PyCharm. So I'm just going to search for PyCharm, okay? You see that's there, All right? So you can also, if I've downloaded this already, you already um, have this one. I'm going to open it, All right? And then that's what I'm going to use. Now you see that it's, it's opening for me. That's, that's uh, what I'm going to use over here. If you don't have it, you can easily go to Google and then um, just do download um, PyCharm, right? You're just gonna do that. And then what the first link is what you want. Right? I'm sure you know this one already because we have already done this process, right? You just download the um, community edition, just click on that. Right, and that's it. Right, that's it. It's just going to download. I have it already. I'm just going to cancel it. Okay, so that's that's how you do it, and you get it. Let me go back here and see if it is open already. Not yet. Okay, so um, initially, if you don't have it, you, you just just download it, and then um, you can easily get it. Right. Now, um, what I'm going to do is this. Let me even do it from scratch so that you get to know what I'm doing. Right? If you open it at first, you won't have this interface, right? You won't have it as we saw in the other videos. You won't have this interface. So what you can do is go to file, right? And then go to open. Okay. Then you go to where that folder that you are working with, which is this one that we just created, right? You can easily go to that one and then click open, right? You can open. Um, it will ask you whether you want to open it here or if you're opening the first time it's asking you whether you want to trust that this project just click on trust right and then whether you want to open it in this particular window or you want to open it in a different window right so I'm going to cancel this one because I've already opened it okay I've already opened it over here right, but if you don't have it just open it and that's it you're done all right now um let me just run this thing here I'll show you what I'm doing don't worry I'll show you what I'm doing now, um, let me walk you through this main.py, right? That's what I wanted to show you over here. Uh, remember that we've we created this main.py, right? So I'm going to show you what is inside that main.py, right? All right, then after that, I'll show you what is inside static and then templates, right? I told you to just copy them here, then I'll show you what is inside. So let me start with the main.py and then show you what is inside there, all right? Now, inside this main.py, right, I first start by importing the necessary libraries that I'm going to use, right? So um, NumPy, Pandas, Flask, um, I mean, Count Vectorizer, we've used that before, and then Cosine Similarity. If you've gone through the, um, I mean, the recommendation videos, you understand this Cosine Similarity. We've already talked about it. Um, but if you've not, you can easily just read it. Just take two minutes to read what is Cosine Similarity. I mean, it's, it's part of a recommendation system concept, right? So I expect you to go through that recommendation um, video in the course, uh, in the data science course or in the machine learning course, and then you just can easily understand that. Okay. Or maybe just simply Google it. All right. It's, it's just um, as simple as that, right? Just take two minutes to do that. All right. And then I have um, BS4, which is we are going to use for the web scripting. And I'm sure if you've gone through the web scripting class, do you already know about that, right? And then pick up for the uh, model, right, to be able to read the model. Okay, now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to load the files. Remember that inside the files, we've already downloaded this um nlp right and we have nlp underscore model dot pickle right then we have tra transform dot um pickle right or pkl or pickle you can call it any way that you want that's what i'm going to load over here. so my file name is nlp underscore model dot pickle right you can see the files here the files are right here because we've opened that folder so we have the static the template the data one dot csv final underscore data main dot py main underscore data dot csv new underscore data dot csv nlp blah 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 all the files that you have right all the files here are the ones that you're seeing here okay and i've opened this one this is the one i've opened over here that's what you can see okay so i'm loading this one this nlp underscore um pkl you can see that i'm loading it over here right i'm using pickle to load it these are the normal things that we do and then the vectorizer right i'm also 
uh, loading the vectorizer, which is the transform and dot pkl. Okay. Then um, here I'm going to create a function called um, create similarity, right? Which is going to help me to create, um, which is going to help me to create um, similar. Let me let me show you um, where is our yes. Which is going to help me create these similar movies, right? If we search for a particular movie, the similar movies are supposed to um, come. So that's what is going to help me do that. So let me go back here. Right, so that's the function that I'm going to do it. And I'm going to read the data set that we prepared. That is the final data set, the main underscore data dot CSV, right? I'm going to load it over here. And then I'm going to initialize the count vectorizer because I will need to vectorize the data. Okay. Then I use the CV dot fit transform, right? Then I'll transform this combination part, the comp column. Remember that in our data, right? If I go um here, let's go here. Yes, you can see that we we created this combination of data which contains the actors' names and directors' name, right? So that's that's the part that I'm going to transform. Okay, and then I use the cosine similarity to find similar movies and similar I uh, mean actors in a similar movie, right? I'm going to use the cosine similarity to do that part over here, and then finally I return uh, whatever result that I get. Then I'll do the recommendation, right? So for that I'm going to create another function for that. Okay, whatever um whatever movie title that I give over here, right? I'm going to convert it to a lowercase and then try it in the data that I've loaded, right? The data that I've loaded to see if the title is in there, right? So if you go here uh, and I type a movie title, right? If I type a movie title over here, maybe um say Star Wars, right? Or maybe Star Trek or whatever it is, right? It's going to search that particular um title, right, in the data. Okay, it's going to search it in the data and then find the similarity in that, right? This is um, what is what I'm talking about. It's going to search it in the in the data, right? And then find the similarity in that. If it finds it, right, it creates the similarity here, right? It initializes it over here. Then I'll get the data and then the similarity. Then um, if 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 you search something, right? But if you search um, the title, right, and it doesn't find it in the data that we have, right, it is going to show you this message: "Sorry, the movie you requested is not in our database. Please um, check the spelling or try with other movies." Right. So, um, for instance, if I now, for instance, if I search for any um, anything, let me search for something like this. And it's not a movie title, I'm not sure. Now you see that it's giving, sorry, the movie you requested is not in our database. Please check the spelling or try with other movies. So that's 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 the part that is doing that. Okay, that's the part that is doing that. You can customize the message as you want. Maybe try another way, maybe, or try another movie. If I change this one to maybe, sorry, try another movie name, right? So maybe something like this. Now, when I change this, I need to also change um, this part, right? If you go to the home, we have um, that same message over here, right? So I need to, let me actually go back here and then copy this one here and then come here and then uh, I'm going to change this as well, right? All the way to here, right? I'm going to change this one as well. Then I'll save it and then I'll come here and refresh. Okay, now I'm going to search for something else. Again, right, this one is not a movie title. If I click on this, now you see that, sorry, try another movie. Okay, now, so you can customize it the way that you want. You can customize it um, the way that you want. Let's go back to the main. All right, so that is that is what, if you give the title and it's in the movie, it's, it's going to um, give me the particular movie. But if it's not there, then it's going to give me that, um, I mean, error message. Okay, so if it's there, it's going to search in the movie title and then see which title is equivalent to the title that you have given, right? And then um, give it, uh, I mean, give you that particular movie. And then you can see over here, I'm saying that excluding first item since it is the requested movie itself. Okay, so um, if if I give a movie, right? If um, for instance, let me show dem demonstrate that to you, right? So, um, let's say we search for uh, Apocalypto over here, right? So if I search for that. Now, okay. Now, if I search for Apocalypto and it's doing recommendations for me, right? It's doing recommendations down here for me. I don't want Apocalypto to come here again. I don't want you to recommend the same movie that I've searched, 
right? The same movie that I, I'll search. I don't want you to recommend the same movie to me. I mean, I want you to recommend similar movies to me, but not the same. That's why over here, I'm starting with one all the way to 11, right? So if I start with zero, right? If I start with zero, it means that I should consider the first one, which is also going to be um, that same apocalypse. If I save this one, and then I come here and refresh this, Right, okay, now let me search for Apocalypto again, right. Now this time, if you go to the recommendation, you see that Apocalypto is being recommended to me again. Okay, but I want you to recommend similar ones for me, right? So if I put, if I take out the zero over here, and then put one over there, then it's going to start with this one because Python in the sense starts with zero, one, two, right, like that. So it take off the zero, then it starts with this one. So that's why, why this part I'm doing this, okay? And then, I mean, that's, that's, that's mainly um, what, what um, this part of the code is actually doing. Now, once, once I'm done with um, searching for the movie title and then um, seeing whether the title is there or not, um, giving you the similar movies and others, the next thing that I'm going to do is to convert list of string to list. Now, if you, I mean, in the, the movies database, right, we have things like um, list then with this kind of a code around it, right? But I want to strip off this code around it and make it just a list like that. For instance, you can have um, something like this, uh, maybe movie titles or um, let's say movie titles, right? So, uh, for instance, I put car. Uh, um, something like that, Apocalypto, another movie can come, like maybe Star Trek, something like that, right? Uh, maybe another movie can come, like um, Avengers, right? Something like that. And then there will be, comma here, another list to also come, right? Another list of movies will come, let's say, um, uh, La La Land, or something like that, right? And then maybe another movie, um maybe transformers right um transformers maybe another movie can come like maybe um captain america all right something like that now when this happens um then another list can come right i mean a lot of them can come a lot of uh, lists can come now in the database there's also a code around these things right i don't want to have these codes around them right there will be code here There'll be code here, right? And then um, there'll be another code. And then this, right? There'll be code here, like that, something like that, code around it. Now, what I want to do is that I want to strip off that code so that it will be list, right? It will be a list of um, titles like that, right? So this one should be a list of titles right? or a list of movies, right? Or something like that. But I don't want um, the code to be around because it's, otherwise it's going to be difficult for us to get it, okay? That's why I want to strip off that i want to strip off that code over there that's that's what this part of the code is actually doing i stripping off all this what a single code or double code is actually um i mean creating this convert to list function and then doing that part for us okay now when that part is done uh we're also going to do the get suggestion over here right? so if you if you, I mean, if you want to type anything over here, if I start typing like that, you see that I have the suggestions over there, right? So this part is going to take care of that. Okay, this part is going to take care of that, right? Um, there's another part that I will show you, which also, um, I mean, makes this auto, auto, um, auto complete and I mean, make it more, more accurate over here, right? I'm going to show you that part later 